In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a header where you can promote your Black Friday offers. As you know, Black Friday is approaching very, very soon. So I want to show you how to add this header that promotes your Black Friday offer on your website. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. So over here, you can see uh, by default, this is how our main header would look like if you haven't added your header to your website. It's pretty basic, but we're going to transform this into this. So now this area here has our Black Friday offer. And when I scroll here, you can see our header now is stuck there at the top as your user is scrolling on your website and that message is out of the way. But as soon as they sc uh, scroll back to the top, our offer here is going to be visible. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, it's all about how to create a message for Black Friday on your Divi website. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get automatic access to my Divi Blueprint course, which costs 497. Now, this course teaches you from scratch how to design professional looking websites with Divi. So when you buy Divi, you don't have to stress with trying to work out how to use it. This course will teach you everything that you need to know. And it's also project based, which means by the end of the course, you're going to have a fully functioning website. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this header for your Black Friday promotion. So let's dive in. All right. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you've set up your menu. So to do that, you want to come over here to appearance and then go to menus. So if you haven't created your menu yet, this is where you want to create it. So you can just click here where it says create menu. You give the menu a name. And then once you've given it a name, the next step now is to assign it to the primary menu. Now, of course, I've already gone ahead and done this, so uh, I won't be going to do that because I've already set mine to main menu. OK, so once you've assigned your menu to the primary menu, the next step now is to come over here and choose the pages that you want to add to the menu. So once you've done that, you, you uh, click on create menu and then save that menu. So let's say now your menu has been saved and everything is looking good. The next step now is to go into the Divi Builder and design this header. So let's go ahead and do that. So to design the Divi header, you want to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. So here we need to build the header. So we want to click here on Add Global Header. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and then click on Build Global Header. So here we're going to be uh, seeing the actual builder, the Divi builder. So it's going to be very easy for us to build our header using the Divi builder because we are familiar with this. So I'm going to click now on start building and I'm going to go with a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select that because right now we're just going, we're just going to design a basic header. Okay. Right. So now that I've selected my single column, the next step now is to look for my menus. So I'm going to search for my menu module and select it. All right. So remember in the first stage, I mentioned that if you don't have a menu, it won't be showing here. And all you're going to have is select menu. So ideally, you want to create your menu first so that you can select it over here. And now you can see my pages are now showing, which is fantastic. So the next step now is to come over here to logo and I need to add my logo. So you need to have your own company logo. It might be on your computer or on your WordPress website. So in this case, I think I have a logo here on this side. So here we go. I can use this one here, upload an image. So now I have my logo. Now what you're going to find is when you first upload your logo like this, it might be distorted. So the quick way to fix that is by coming over here to design sizing, and then you can reduce the size of the logo just by dragging this all the way down until you're happy with the size of the logo. All right, great. So now that we have this all set, uh, you also have module alignment. You can align your modules here, but we're not going to play with that yet. So the next step now is to just save. Okay. Next, I need to uh, create some space around my header. So right now I can see there's a lot of space around my header. So I'm going to go in here and click on design spacing. So my top and bottom padding, I'm going to make sure it's set to zero. And you can see now my size is decreasing. The next step is to come over here to content, go to background. So here is where we want to add our background color for our header. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and uh, I'm just going to choose a color that would work with my header. 
Um, so let's have a look. I think this is a bit too bright. So we're going to play around with this a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go with that for our main header background color. And as you can see, we also have a white background here on our menu. So we want to get rid of that. So let's go ahead quickly and fix that. So I'm going to click on Save Changes. And then I'm going to come back over here now to my menu and go to Background and remove the background. So now all we have is a transparent background because I've just uh, disabled it here. Okay, so this is looking great. Now, while we're here, we might as well go into Design and let's start working on our design here on the menu text. So here on the menu text, uh, I would like a color that can stand out on my site. So first of all, um, I'm going to come over here to my active color. And this is, where is, this is where you can choose a color of the link when that page is active. So for now, I'm just going to go with white. And then I'm going to play around with my colors here. So menu text color. Let's change this to white, and you can see now it's much easier to read, which I think is cool. Next, I'm going to come over here to my menu font, and, you know, I'm going to choose Poppins. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. The size here is not um, big enough, but before I do that, I just want to change this from regular to bold because I want my menu to really stand out. I'm going to increase the size a little bit to about 16. So the next step now is to add some letter spacing. So I'm just going to drag this slider here until... I am happy with my letter spacing. So I think one is fine. And I'm just going to reduce this a little bit to about 15 pixels. All right, so this is looking great. I can see my logo here is not really standing out. So what I may want to do is to go and change the color of this header. So I'm going to save and let's go back over here and change this background. Make it darker so that my logo actually stands out. Okay, so let's go with... Okay, so we are going to go with... Um, Let's go with this color here. All right, so I'm going to save. So, so far, you can see everything is really starting to take shape. We've got our main header here, and we also need to reduce some space around this because we can see our header is way too thick. So I'm going to go now into my row settings. Click on design, spacing, and again, I'm just going to add zero here. Uh, activate my chain. So now you can see it's a bit too thin now. So uh, we can just play around here with the sizes and... Perhaps we could go with six. All right, so that's looking great now. I'm going to save, and I'm pretty much happy with this. Now, if you wanted to add some call to action buttons here or social media links, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave this, leave this as it is. So there's also one thing I need to do, and that is to uh, center my menu. So I'm going to come over here to layout. So right now, it is left aligned. Now, there's a few ways that you can uh, style your header, and that is to come over here. You can have it as a centered one, or you can also have it as an inline centered logo like that. So these are the options you can play around with, uh, depending on how you want your website to look like. Okay, so we are going to keep things very simple here. I'm going to leave it as left aligned. And then over here on the text alignment, I am going to align my text all the way to the right. Okay, so I can have a separation between my menu text and my logo. All right, so now that I have this, I'm going to save. So I'm pretty much happy with my header now. So the final, final stage is to go into our section settings, click on advanced, and then you want to come over here to scroll effects and just make sure this is sticking to the top. So I'm going to say stick to the top and save. Okay, great. The next step now is to add our main message for the Black Friday. So this is what, of course, this tutorial is about. So let me show you how to do that. All right. So what we're going to do is to add a new regular section. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this time I'm going to add two equal columns and I'm going to add some text to this one here. So let's go to our lorem uh, ipsum. So I'm going to use some dummy text here because I don't, <laughs> I don't like typing. But to be honest, I could have uh, finished typing by now by opening a new tab. But you know what? I've gotten so used to doing it this way. All right. So there's my text. That's my dummy text. So that's going to be my call to action. Great. So I'm not going to style it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, come over here to design. And we want to go to our text. And then over here, we need to align it to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So it's aligned to the right. Let's save that. Over here, we need to add a button. So I'm going to search for my button module. 
and select it. So let's say get the offer. Okay, there we go. So that's my message, get the offer. And then over here on design alignment, we're going to align this to the left so that everything is close together. All right, so now that we have this all set, I'm going to save this and then we're going to do what we did uh, before. And that is to make sure we have very little space on the top here and the bottom because right now by default the padding is way too much so let's go quickly and do that so i'm going to come over here to spacing add zero to our padding go to the top and the bottom great so now let's go into our rows design spacing same thing let's add zero to the top and the bottom now right now i can see that it's not looking great so let me just add a little bit like that and save Right, so now it's time to go into uh, the main section settings here and add our black background. So let's go ahead and add black. Now this is Black Friday, so we really want this message to, to stand out. Okay, so now that I've added this, I am going to now save and drag this to the top. Okay, now it's time to stylize this and make this look really, really nice. So we're going to start here with our text. So we're going to go in. Click on design, text, change this to poppins, and we're going to give this a color. Should we go with white? Yeah, we could go with white. It's fine. Um, let's increase the size a little bit. Let's make this bold. There we go. All right, so I'm pretty happy with my text here. I'm going to save that. Now, for call to action, sometimes you may want to go in and uh, underline some text and all that. You can do this by coming over here. But you know what? In this case, I'm going to leave this as it is. Next, I'm going to come over here to my button. And let's stylize the button by coming over here to a button and activating use custom styles for button. All right. So now that we're here, let's add our button background color. So let's go with that uh, orange. It really stands out. And then next, I am going to uh, add my text color. Right, so now you can see it's really uh, bright and it's very easy to click. Next, I'm going to come all the way down here, make this all caps. And not forgetting our font here, we need to set this to pop-ins. Uh, let's set this to uh, bold. Yes, I really like the bold. And then back over here, I think there's something I forgot to do, and that is... To remove my border width there we go right so we're getting there slowly that's looking much better that's our offer right so what we're going to do now is to make sure everything is aligned properly and also we want that when people are viewing this page they are going to be able to see everything in a straight line so let me show you the css code that you need to add in to make this work so i'm going to come all the way down here to advanced custom css and then on the main element, I'm just going to add my code. Okay, so this is the CSS code that we need to enter in here. So it's the display flex and also align items center. So now you can see everything is now aligned center and it looks beautiful. Now, as I'm looking at this, think to myself, this button here may be too big. So let's go ahead and fix that quickly. So we're going to go back over here to design a button and we're going to reduce the text size. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go with... Um, 15, maybe even 14. Okay, we're going to go with 14 and save. Right, now this little bar here is a bit too small now. So let's go in here and add a bit of padding. So I'm going to come to spacing and we're just going to add a little bit of padding here. So let's go with maybe about six. So now our message is really standing out. Okay, so that's looking great. Okay, so now that we have our message and everything is looking great, the next important thing is to make sure everything is looking great on mobile devices. So let's take a look at that by um, coming over here to the button. So we're going to go to design, go into the button. So I want to make sure my size here is fine. And we can see here that, um, I mean, it looks great. I mean, the size is not too bad. So it looks like we need to uh, make some changes here to the text. So we're going to go into the text settings, click on design text. So here we're going to go into the size. So we're going to come over here to text size. I'm going to switch over. So this is where I want to uh, change my size. 
make it a bit smaller to about say 12 or maybe even 13 okay now over here on the phone the phone size looks okay but you know what i've noticed and that is things are not aligned here so what i may want to do while i'm here in this view is to uh, add some padding so i'm going to come all the way down here to spacing and i'm going to add top padding and just making sure that here we're on the tablet i'm just going to do that and make sure everything is aligned and i also need to add some right padding because everything is way too close together here okay i may just want to just do that a little bit okay so now you can see that uh, everything is all lined up and let's take a look here on the phone as well and that is looking perfect so you can tweak this you know as many times as you want but right now we can see that this part here is a bit too big but to be honest this is the main offer and this should look great so now i am going to uh, go back to my desktop and save okay so now that i've said my message i'm going to save this one more time so i'm just going to save this make sure everything is all saved and as you can see here this is a global header so now we're going to go to our site and we can see now our offer is there and our button here is looking great now check this out when i scroll because we set this to sticky my top part here my top main header here is stuck at the top but when i scroll down my black friday offer is showing so this is how you add this little feature that makes it easier for you to add all your messages and also i'm going to leave a download to this so you can use this on your own websites now, as you can see, this is very easy to go in and update. You can change your background color here and also change your message. And of course, make sure that the button links to whatever page you want it to link to. So now if we click on a, another page here, you're going to notice that our header is pretty much across the whole website. So here's our fitness page and everything is working fine. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.